Good morning. It is April 21st, 2020. And uh, thought of the day number 37. And uh, yeah, sometimes mornings don't go the way as you plan them or wish for, but they work out well in the end. Anyways, if you keep an open mind. Uh, well, today I want to follow up a little bit on the distracted mind we talked about yesterday. And uh, this happened because something happened this morning when I wanted to put on the wrong toothpaste on my toothbrush. So I realized that there, a part of the distracted mind is multitasking. Maybe it's a mental multitasking or a physical multitasking. And I'm not sure what's there first, the multitasking or the distracted mind. Um, well, you'll figure it out for yourself, but I think for me, it depends. Sometimes I'm multitasking and therefore I'm distracted or I'm distracted anyways in the first place. So I keep trying to do multitasking and uh, try to accomplish many things at the same time because I just don't even know what to focus on. And uh, so the, the issue with multitasking and the many different ways to look at what multitasking is, is how we expose ourselves. And so we already have five senses that we take in information. So that alone is a way of multitasking. So uh, we spoke about this before. So when you trying to concentrate on the conversation and the TV is on, you have your phone in your hands, trying to text somebody and listening to somebody and then maybe reading something at the same time, uh, you cannot really focus. And it is one, because you are occupying all your senses from your sight, your hearing, your touch, and maybe smell, taste. And uh, so you're already receiving too much information at the same time, which is technically multitasking. And so our minds gets distracted because they don't know what to focus on. So to, one way to do that is to realize, one, that you are multitasking or that you're distracted. And then is to look at what could you eliminate is that conversation you're having important to you relevant uh, or is that text that you're writing or reading relevant or is it what you're seeing on tv relevant and by canceling out one or the other if you're lucky enough to have a tv you can pause something then you can pause it right or if you just want to get this text out because it's time limited then you can just say hold on for this conversation let me finish this or if the, inf if the conversation is really important, then you can just put the phone down and pause the TV and then have this conversation with that person. So there are many ways for us to take control of being focused and not so distracted and multitasking at all times, because the way our cell phones are structured and not only our cell phones, but also our minds is not to stay on one thing alone. It could be many reasons, but one reason I know for sure is boredom. We get bored very quickly. We easily want to get on to the next thing. And I mean, it might not only be boredom. Maybe it's also because we know there has so many things we got to get done. So it's again, trying to figure out what is relevant in this moment and the more we practice to be present to breathe and pay attention to our breath to get more sense of what is happening in our bodies the sooner we can take action and the sooner we realize that we're not here right now and that we're multitasking and that we are distracted and so i don't know what worked yesterday for you or what you did with yesterday's message about the distracted mind but today i want you to just observe how are you focused on a particular task is it because you're trying to multitask that you can't focus or is it because you're distracted by many different reasons so 
this is for you to figure out. I'm going to do my own work on that today. And so good luck. Take care. Bye.